this video will demonstrate how to configure the Nortec 600 for surface and subsurface inspections. The Nortec 600 can be configured in various ways. The following method is the fastest way to obtain good signals and consistent results. Connect the probe to the Nortec 600 and turn the instrument on. With the latest software revision, the application selection menu will pop up automatically. Select surface cracks and press the check mark key. Enter the correct test frequency. For our purposes, we will use a default frequency of 500 kilohertz. Press a DISP and move the crosshair using the C key, which is a position option. We will set the position to bottom center by using the knob. There are five commonly used industry presets to facilitate the placement of the crosshair. A sixth preset is available for user customization. Place the probe on a defect-free area of the standard. Press and hold the null key. This will activate the auto liftoff function. When you hear the beep, lift the probe. The cursor should appear on the horizontal axis to the far left. If it does not, repeat the step. Now put the probe on a defect-free area and press NULL once. Scan the sample and press the freeze key. Once in freeze mode, an F should appear below the battery indicator. Freeze mode enables the user to calibrate the signal using both hands. Press the main key to fine-tune the horizontal angle and try to set it as flat as possible. Use the knob to adjust the angle and the checkmark key to go from coarse to fine-tuning. Pressing the gain key once will enable the user to modify both the horizontal and vertical gains together. Press the gain key once more to modify the H gain. Reduce the gain so that the highest signal covers about three horizontal divisions. Press the gain key again to modify the V gain. Increase the gain so that the highest signal covers about 90% of the screen height. Once completed, press freeze. Press full next to enter full screen mode. Place the probe on a defect free area and press NULL. Rescan the standard. The newly acquired scan is now calibrated. For subsurface crack inspection, connect an appropriate probe to the Nortec 600. Press the Advanced Setup key, then Application Selection. Select Subsurface from the menu using the knob and press the checkmark key to accept. Press the main key to set the frequency. In this case, we know the correct frequency and we will set it using the knob. The Nortec 600 includes a useful slide rule tool for determining the standard depth of penetration for a given material at a specified frequency. The user can select the material from the list and modify the frequency to determine the depth of penetration. To access the slide rule menu, press the main key until slide rule appears at the E key. Press the E key and the slide rule menu is displayed. Place the calibration standard with the undamaged fastener to the left and the damaged fastener to the right. Place the probe over the good fastener and press and hold the null key. When the Nortec beeps, lift the probe straight into the air. Avoid tilting the probe. Place the probe over the good fastener and press null. Lift the probe and place it over the damaged fastener and press freeze. Once the screen is frozen, you can change the angle. Try to set the lift off as horizontally as possible. Use the knob to fine tune the angle. To change from coarse to fine tuning, press the check mark key. Press gain three times to change the V gain. Set the gain so that the damage signal reaches 90% of the screen height. Press freeze and full next to enter full screen mode. Place the probe over the good fastener and then the damage fastener. Both fasteners should be separated by height only. If the damage fastener is too far to the left, increase the frequency. If the damage fastener is too far to the right, decrease the frequency. Changing de-erase and persist settings can be useful for some applications. De-erase erases the eddy current display at usually determined time intervals. Persist erases all information at a particular point after the selected amount of time has expired. To set the de-erase and persist time intervals, Press DISP twice, then use the A and B keys and knob to adjust the values. Another way to inspect subsurface cracks is to use a sliding probe. Set your frequency to 2.5 kHz. 
place the sliding probe on a defect-free area of the calibration standard. Press and hold the null key. This will activate the auto liftoff function. When you hear the beep, lift the probe. Place the probe back on the defect-free area and press null. Slide the probe to scan an undamaged rivet. Press freeze. Using the angle key and knob, adjust the signal so that the starting and end points are both parallel. Press gain twice and use the knob to adjust the horizontal gain. The H gain signal should cover five divisions. Press gain again and use the knob to adjust the vertical gain. The V gain signal should cover three divisions. Press freeze and fold next. Place the probe on a defect free area and press null. Scan the standard. If desired, adjust the alarm box for better separation between damaged and undamaged fastener signals. We hope you enjoy this instructional video on how to configure the Nortec 600 to inspect surface and subsurface cracks. For more information on Olympus Eddy Current Solutions, contact your local representative or visit us online at www.olympus-ims.com.